anyone else poach Netflix or Disney Plus off of Friends? I, I'm one of those. We're, we're those people. Um, we, we ask around, hey, you have room on your account for one more? Um, that was a COVID necessity. Um, and, uh, and so we got Disney Plus and Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new show, came out. Has anyone been watching Obi-Wan Kenobi? I've been kind of doing the intersection based off of, off of uh, shows lately because I feel like we've gotten so in the habit of just getting into a show and people, um, I, I would assume, would want to see old, good old Obi-Wan take a, take a swing at Anakin Skywalker again. So anyways, I'm going to just chat about that for a brief second. So in the show... It's the stage in the Star Wars series where Darth Vader, who was Anakin Skywalker, turned bad, becomes Darth Vader, and he's had a couple of babies, which is Leia and Luke Skywalker. And they take these two babies who are going to be sort of the next crop of Jedi that are coming up, and they hide them away. They get them away because... The, the empire, the bad guys, the, the evil force that's trying to snuff out the Jedi have uh, risen to some level of power in the world and so they are getting them out and hiding them. And so Obi-Wan takes Luke and he takes him to this planet and these other people take the other person and they get out of there. But I'm focusing on Obi-Wan for a moment. He hides out on this planet and his whole thing is that he's not... He's trying his hardest to not attract attention to himself because these, these, the Empire, Darth Vader and the whole crew of people that wear black are all chasing Obi-Wan and Luke. They're trying to take out the last of the, of the Jedi. And so Obi-Wan is like hiding in the desert, kind of spying on Luke as he's growing up, making sure like he's safe and all this stuff. And his whole thing is like, he doesn't want to reveal who he truly is. Obi-Wan doesn't want to reveal his identity to anyone, even to another Jedi. Like in the show, this Jedi is getting hunted and they're in the same city together. And he comes to Obi-Wan who, if you've watched the show, is like a high-ranking Jedi. He's like, he's up there on the, on the ranks. And he comes to him and he's like, Obi-Wan. And he's like, that's not my name. Don't call me that. Like, my name's Ben. He's like, no, you're like a Jedi master. He's like, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Like, don't reveal who you are. And he's trying to hide this piece of who he is. And there's a point in the show where the, the bad guys try to bait him by causing a problem. And the, they say something interesting that they go, the Jedi are motivated by compassion. They can't help but respond. It's interesting. They actually bait him into a situation. I'll let you watch the show. I won't spoil it for you. No, I won't spoil it. Don't you worry. He, baits, he gets baited in by compassion. And it's this whole thing where like, how that, what does that have to do with Jesus? In a lot of ways, I think God has given us a, the power of his Holy Spirit through the death and resurrection of Jesus. And we're going to hear some stories today of how that power actually looks in a community. Um, but he gives this power to us through his Holy Spirit. He forgives us of, of our sin. He takes that, that label and that identity off of us, and he puts his Holy Spirit within us to lead and guide us into a life that is supernatural. There's a, a force, you could say, within us. May the force of the Holy Spirit be with you. But unfortunately, in a lot of ways, we try to, like, we don't like people knowing. It's like, we're I'm not, church, oh yeah, yeah I, I go to church, but on the, on the weekdays at, at work, like, I'm not going to share with you about my relationship with Jesus. I'm not going to share that testimony of, of the force of the Holy Spirit working last weekend, healing people. I'm not going to share what God has done in my life, the force of the Holy Spirit that's changed me from the inside out. I'm just going to kind of lay low, keep my identity hidden, get through life, put my head down, and just kind of like plug through. But God is calling us to actually walk in his power, but there is a catch to it. And it's just like that show where there's a, there's a target that gets put on your back. In, in 
the, the realm of the Holy Spirit. Now, that sounds kind of weird, but every time I've experienced the moving of the Holy Spirit in a powerful way, right before that happens, there's an attack that comes. There's almost like a... Like the empire and the Jedi are fighting, but it's like Satan and Jesus, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness are at odds with one another. And whenever God is about to move, the kingdom of darkness is coming against it and tries to discourage and distract and diffuse what God is doing. And I just want you to know, like, it is the most fulfilling thing and fun thing to get to move in the Holy Spirit, but it's also a fight of faith. You put a tar- there's a target that gets put on your back. And, and that's what we're... Uh, gonna speak into a little bit today, but uh, that's kind of how culture intersects with Jesus.